We begin this evening in Afghanistan, where some 91,000 U.S. troops observed the holiday as best they could in the closing days of a year that has seen the deaths of 412 servicemen and women. Clarissa Ward spent the day with a small unit at a mountainous outpost near the border with Pakistan. At 7,000 feet, this outpost, OP Mustang, is one of the most remote and also one of the most breathtaking in all of Afghanistan. It's been the scene of some pretty heavy fighting over the last six months, but today, the 19 soldiers based here took a little time out to enjoy Christmas on top of the world. Christmas morning, and the men of Wolfhound Battalion manned their posts as usual. Far from home and nine months into a grueling deployment on the Pakistan border, the seasoned spirit has been slow to set in here. But there were a few noticeable changes. He may look nice, but he's not. A helicopter flew in from a nearby base, bearing gifts and mail from home. Oh, cheese and sausage. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Corporal Billy Jennings worked as a pastry chef before enlisting, so the men are in very good hands. My role up here is basically just to make these guys happy. The food seemed to hit the spot, and for a few moments the men were able to relax. Even their Afghan guards were getting into the spirit. But the meal was cut short. A neighboring checkpoint came under attack. The soldiers rushed off to fire mortars at suspected enemy locations. The war doesn't stop for holidays up here but it does serve as a reminder of what is important in life, which is why no one here lets down his guard, not even on Christmas. It's already back to business for these soldiers, but the good news is that in March, they will be heading home to Schofield Barracks in Hawaii, so just a few more months to go. Clarissa Ward, CBS News, OP Mustang, Afghanistan.